What's happening people, welcome back to the channel. <laughs> this video is going to be a little bit different, we're just going to show you my favourite white coolers, like the best ones that I've found, they seem to work the best. So, I'll start off with my, with my favourite one, if you've seen some of my videos before, you'll know I use this one quite a lot, it's Western Swim Jerk Bait, this is 53 gram suspended version in a perch pan I had absolutely loads of pike on this and the joys of it it's really easy to use it's not like some of the ones that you get like for instance I've got a Savage Gear Jerkster here and I've had a few pike follow it but I haven't had them smash it and you've got to sort of use the tip of the rod to jerk this and put the action in it yourself and if you're new to jerkbait fishing, it's not very easy to do. But this one, anyone could really just chuck it out and you could wind it in, pause it, and you'll get takes just like that. So it's quite quite easy to use, that's why that's my favourite one. Um, one of my second favourites is the Fox Pro Shads. Like this one is um, 14 centimeter, and I've caught look, I've caught quite a few fish on this, like in different patterns. Like I've got the smaller one. Well, saying that, I think this is the 18 centimeter. This is the 14 centimeter one, and I've caught quite a lot on this. But what I've done, what I've done is I've shallow rigged this, so all I've got is just basically a uh, screw. That screws into the head and then I've made the own trace myself put the two hooks on them and the thing is I was I have caught on them before but a little tip what I've done is I've put I see it on another video I bought these little glass rattles and I don't know if you can hear that so all I've done is pushed it straight into the top and then super glued them in and I've done that with all my shads and I found by doing this you get a lot more takes on the shads but I know they move quite a lot of wool with the big tails but um, sometimes you just a rattle just triggers a bite so yeah, this is the cork this is what I mean this is just how it's rigged so it's basically you've just got a corkscrew I put I've got a crimp there and I've just covered it up and then another crimp with two hooks and what I've done this one I've just put two two beads there just so it just makes a bit of move a bit of noise I was just basically another one of my favourite ones is Savage Gear 4 play I've got quite a few pipe on this not in this particular pattern I've done really well on the um, golden ambulance colour but the place I fish is I normally fish bays so canal a lot and it's quite clear so I thought if I just get the roach pan I should catch some more on that so that's another good one and what I found as well is it doesn't cast that well like when you cast it it doesn't like it doesn't land head down it just sort of I know, it casts like a bag of crap to be honest with you, but it catches fish. This used to be one of my favourite ones. It's a Rapala jointed shad. I'm not sure the actual name on that. Um, but it's quite small, so I used to take it down the river quite a lot and catch, catch pike down the river mole on this. And the, like, I used to hardly have a blank when I used to take this down the river but where I fish on the canal it's quite weedy so it dies down too far and it just gets caught in all the shit uh, the next one I, I really like using is the Savage Gear uh, 3D Hard Eel and this is a small one out of two I'll find a link and put it in the description of what size it is and all I've done is took the hook off the bottom and stuck it in the top and just hooked it in there and to be honest with you I haven't caught on this yet but I've had quite a few big pike follow it but um, 
it swims really good. So basically, with the hook in the top, you can drag it right across the bottom, and in the winter, that can be a winner. So, try that there. I've also got some bigger shads as well, which I haven't. I haven't caught one yet, but I'm going. Plan on go to Langnors Lake in Wales, and I wanted to try these out. These are like 23 centimetre, which they I don't know how well you can see that on there, but they're quite quite massive. And I've just got a little five gram um, weight on the front of that. And I haven't been anywhere big enough to start chucking these out. To be fair. I suppose I could have tried them on base tote canal, it's just it's so big, you you probably miss all the little jacks and things like that on them, but I don't know, I have to try that one out, they look quite good though, yeah so that's that's what we've got coming up on the channel, we've got Langnor Lakes on Sunday, so hopefully I'll bag a pike out of that and I can put another video up of that. And I might have some sessions after work as well, which probably be like I'm gonna fish the River Wandle, which is close to me. So there'd be like chub and barbel videos coming up, um, and also I'll try try to get out and catch some more perch because I do want to catch a big perch in this winter as well. Which that has to be like a different river because there ain't none. Well, there ain't many in the Wandle. Uh, I also bought this one a while ago. It's the Savage Gear. Um, I think it's the Mega Bush. It's quite a quite a big bait, and I've put like a Reggie on the back as a little trailer, and it swims really good. I haven't had anything on it yet, but I've seen lots of videos of um, Snag Bro using these and people like that and they've all catched on so I bought it but I haven't done that great on it yet but it just comes to like the places I fish are quite clear so it, I haven't had a real chance to use it properly yet and then uh, this one is another Savage Gear one I can't remember the name of this one I'll put I'll put the same cup in the description, but I'll put a video on this where I caught. Literally, I took it out down the canal, and within three casts, I had a fish on it. But this one as well is also like you have to sort of put the action into yourself. It's also jerk bait. Um, there's no rattle in this, which I was a bit like, oh, there's no rattle in it. It might not be as good, but you still catch on it. But to be honest, yeah. If I was, if I was just to take like these are way too many to take out. Like I know most of the time I take all these, but I won't use them all. So like I, I, I would just normally use just this one, or I would try that or a shad. So you don't have to, you don't have to buy loads of lures because. The majority of the time, you won't end up take. You won't end up using them. All. You like you can take them all with you, but you more than likely won't use them all. It's like I got this. It's the Rapala Pito X Wrap in the uh, 14 centimeter. Swims wicked, but I haven't had a fish on it yet, and it just looks awesome. To be fair, it sinks quite slowly. So yeah, we've got quite a lot of them. Just. Uh, Just need to go and catch some pike on them. I bought a new version of this. It's in the garage at the minute, and it's uh, well, I say a new version. It's been out for ages, but it's the uh, 10 centimeter one. This one's a 12 centimeter one. But I bought the 10 centimeter in um, sinking version. So hopefully, at this this lake, it will go down a little bit. I know it's a dirt bait, and it ain't gonna go down like ridiculously far, but just thought with it being a bit smaller. I've had big perch for this lure, so I thought oh, one a little bit smaller I might bag a bigger. And thanks for watching anyway. Um, please like and subscribe and leave a comment below and put a few of your favourite lures down there.
and uh, hopefully I'll have another video out say Monday Monday Tuesday if we catch something well, I don't normally like posting if I'm not catching anything I don't really want to post a video and then it'd be like you just watch it and, and then you think someone's gonna catch it and then they don't catch it and you're like oh this is just crap so thanks for watching anyway and